Well, you gotta let me know here. Surprise me. Ready? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, good morning, everybody. Happy Sunday morning to you. Feliz Domingo por la mañana. Pastors Jose and Patricia, we just want to welcome you to New Beginnings Church of Big Bay and a church you can call home where we honor God, love families, serve others, and we pursue excellence. And we have a passion for God and a passion for souls. Amen. You know, when you spend your time with Him on a, uh, regularly, uh, you'll get a passion not only for Him, you'll get a passion for souls, people. Amen. You know, and I've told you this many times, but how do you spell ministry? You're called a ministry. P, uh, uh, ministry is spelled P E O P L E. People. And everywhere you go, guess what? There's people. Well, everywhere. <laughs> everywhere. So you can't get away from them. That's so it. what do I do? You have a part in this. If you don't know, now you know. Amen. And as you get closer to Him, and then, uh, to, to God, you'll know that you have a part. And your part is vital. Amen. So see yourself as being a vital part in this, okay? We're gonna be talking about this. We get, we, uh, I'm getting ahead of myself, but we're gonna be talking about send me, Lord, send me. Oh, yeah. Okay? Yeah. We're always talking about, you know, send them, send them, you know, pick them. But he says, send me, yeah. me, 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 okay? That's you. So anyway, uh, welcome our NBC family, uh, all our visitors, and all of you that are joining us by audio and video, amen? Remember, God has something for you. And this is not just for somebody else. This is for you. Amen. You didn't tune in by accident. Amen. <laughs> you are here because God wants you to hear this. Amen. Yeah. So praise God. Thank you, Lord. Whew, so don't leave uh, as you came. Leave a new person each and every day. You're a new person in Him. He says the old is out, the new is in. Amen. So this is this is about you. Amen. He's got great plans for you. None of them include defeat. Amen. And here's what we're going to talk about also. Be available. Amen. He's knocking. He's sending you all these little friend requests. And you keep del deleting them, you know. You, you got to confirm it. You got to receive it. You got to accept it. Amen. Yes. When, when he sends a call, you got to answer it. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Quit putting it off. You know, he knows all these things. So yes. why hide it? You can't hide anything from him. Amen. So praise God. Thank you, Lord. Uh, I'm excited. So I hope you're excited also. Amen. Grab your sword. Soldier yes. of God. And uh, let's make this declaration together, amen? Praise God. This is my Bible. I am what it says I am. I have what it says I have. I can do what it says I can do. Today, I'll be taught the Word of God. I boldly confess my mind is alert. My spirit is receptive. And I'll never be the same in Jesus' name. Amen. Remember, you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. Man, you got to write that down in many places. Yes. You know, if you can't remember that, <laughs> just write it down in many places and say, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Lord, Amen. Lord. We need His strength and we, we need Him. We need His strength on a daily basis. Amen. Yeah. Woo, hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So, are you ready? Always. Yes. yes. I like that. Okay. Let me read you this. It says, send me. Here I am, Lord, send me. Huh. I am available. I am ready, and I am really, I, I, I am ready to obey. I am ready to serve. Amen. Amen. I am ready. Stay ready. Amen. I'm a military person here, here in this memorial service coming up, and we thank all these uh, that have served and given their lives for our freedom. Amen. Amen. And you say, well, you know, I haven't been military, but still, all these people gave their lives mm -hmm. for your freedom. Yes. Amen. So don't exclude yourself. Include yes. yourself. And thank all of them that have given up their lives for us to be free in this country. Amen. Amen. Woo. Um, that's a free commercial. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Lord. Here we go. Isaiah 6 and 8. Amen. Isaiah 6 and 8 says, I heard a voice of, I heard the voice of the Lord. Whom shall I send? Uh -huh. And whom oh. will go for us? You know, in the Amplified, open your Bibles there. Isaiah chapters uh, Isaiah chapter 6 and verse 8 it says I heard a voice of the Lord saying whom shall I send mm -hmm. and who will go for us yeah then said I here am I yeah Lord or send me here am I send me amen this is you on a daily basis mm -hmm. amen every time there's something happens every time you see something here am I Lord send me mm -hmm. include yourself yes. amen 
You want to be participator, not a, a spectator. You know how many, right. there's so many ex spectators yeah. just looking and judging yeah. and, and saying things, native things, you know? But be a participator, get involved, amen? And serve. Jesus came to serve, not to be served, amen? Listen, listen to it from the Amplified. I also heard the voice of the Lord saying, whom shall I send and whom will go for us? You know the word us here is mm -hmm. capitalized. Mm -hmm. Amen. Who will go for us? Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Who will go for us? And then said I, here am I. Send me. Mm -hmm. Send me. Amen. So yeah. it's time for us to say, send me, Lord. Yes. It's time, you know, quit passing the buck. Yes, <laughs> quit right. passing to somebody else. It's time you answer and say, Lord, mm -hmm. here I am. Send me. Mm -hmm. And guess what? He's been waiting for you to say that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and uh, he wants to send you. You know why? Because you're called. And because you're anointed. And because you're equipped. Mm -hmm. And he's put all these things in you. For you to go and accomplish what he wants you to do. Mm -hmm. But the enemy. People. This world. Will try to put all kinds of cares. All kinds of distractions. Put all kinds of anxieties and worries on you. So that you could be so stressed out. You know. You exclude yourself. No, you're good enough for him. He put you here because you're good enough. Yes. And you've accepted him, so now guess what? He's our heavenly father. And we're his children. And we wanna we're part of the church. We're we're with the church. We're the Amen. body of Christ going somewhere to happen for God. Yeah. And you have a big part in this. Yeah. And don't get caught up in the big or small. It mm -hmm. doesn't matter. You're doing it under him. Yeah. Man, I'm preaching better than any man right now. <laughs> it says, here I am, send me. In the bottom, I don't know if you can read it, but I'll read it for you. It says, make yourself available to God. Make yourself available. Amen. We want to get involved in the crowd so nobody can see us. So right. nobody can yeah. know us, you know. Yeah. And they won't pick me. But you know, it doesn't matter where you go. God can see you. He saw Jonah in the belly of a, a fish. Mm -hmm. Amen. He can see any through anything. And he knows everything. And he knows the worst about you. And loves you the most. Mm -hmm. And says, you can do all things through me. Yes, you can. Amen. So, it's time to rise up. You know, it's time to get up. You know, all of us have a choice. We can fall. All of us fall. But we have a choice. We need to know how to get up. Get up and get get going. Get pressing on for Jesus. Amen. Uh, amen. And say, Lord, here, my send me. Okay, go. Amen. Praise God. Man, 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 this is good. Mm -hmm. Keep going, Carmen. Mm-hmm. There you go. Hey, you know I got something for you. <laughs> follow Jesus. Who are we going to follow? We're going to follow Jesus. He's our leader. Mm -hmm. He's the head and we're the body. Amen. But he says, and Mark 7, 1, 17 and 18 says, Follow me and I will make you fishers of men. We're talking to some fishermen, professional fishermen. Uh -huh. And they came in, they're cleaning their nets, you know, because they didn't catch anything. And you know what? I'm sure they had a bad attitude. And here comes Jesus. Yeah. Jesus needed a pulpit, you know. So, and there's a big crowd following him. So he asked to borrow their boat. He says, just go out a little ways. And he wanted them to the water so people wouldn't follow him into the water. So he's preaching to these people. When he's done, he told them, you know what? He says, take the boat, take your nets, and go out of ways and, and, and drop your nets. <laughs> and here's the disciple. Well, here's, here, here's these fishermen that say, <laughs> you know, we're professional fishermen. And you telling us how to fish? Who are you? Amen. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> but still they were obedient enough to say okay and they agreed to do what he told them to do and they went out and, and they cast the net out and they yeah. caught so many fish they asked the other boat on, on the side of them to come and help them yeah amen just for being obedient amen that's what we need to do be obedient to what he tells you to do and whether it be big or small it doesn't matter just be obedient. Yes. Amen. Hallelujah. So he says, follow me and I'll make you fishers of men. Uh -huh. They immediately, listen, they immediately, they put self aside, attitude aside, 
and whatever distractions aside and they left their business behind and immediately they dropped their nets and they, and they followed him right amen amen that's what we need to do you know some of you have been following your job your careers all these other things you know except christ and he's telling you now you know hey i called you it's time you answer the call it's time that you say i need to go send me lord but you need to first receive him as your lord and savior uh -huh. and then Press on with thing with with him, Amen. Press on with him. Have a relationship and start growing in him, Amen. But uh, King yeah. James says this, and Jesus said unto them, "Come ye after me, and I will make you fishers of men." Mm -hmm. And straightway they forsook uh, their nets and they followed him. Yes, he's he's been calling you for a long time. Uh, you know, I'm you, you're listening, you're watching. You've been after you for a long time. It's time to give in. You know, it's not, it doesn't keep popping in your head, in your mind forever. You know, all these times is there for a reason. Yeah. When are you going to answer the call? Mm -hmm. It's time to put it aside and say, Lord, you know, I receive my call. I receive you mm -hmm. uh, uh, as my Lord and Savior. I've sinned against you and I repent, but I receive you as my Lord and Savior. Uh -huh. Now, you know, start studying the word, get in the word, get in the Bible-based church where you can go and Amen. learn more about it. And you know what? Now he wants you to press on. Yes. Say, wait a minute, you gotta go through all these other steps, you know? No. It's time to press on. Amen. Whatever the world wants, whatever other people want, religious wants, you know, he says, No. He says, Press on. It's time to get up and press on. Amen. Ooh, hallelujah. Lord. Man. Woo. Sorry about that. So Jesus says, I want to send you, Jose. I want to send you, Noah. Put your name there. I want to send you, Ryan. Yeah. Whatever your name is, you can put your name there. I want to send you. And you, you can scratch that and put your name right there. I want to send you. Be available. <coughs> be ready. Be passionate when it comes to loving, when it comes to serving, and when it comes to living for me. Yeah. Be, uh -huh. You know, be committed. Mm -hmm. Amen. So be ready. You know, hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Woo, hallelujah. Keep going, come. Here we go. <laughs> he was committed. From oh, the time he from the time he came, he was committed. And Jesus says, Jesus paid a price, paid it all. He paid a price he didn't owe. And we owe a price we cannot pay. And we belong to him. It's time you find out. You're not your own. You belong to him. It's time to be obedient to him. And start listening to what he want what what, what he's telling us. Isaiah uh, fifty three and five. Keep going. Here we go. Oh, yeah. Father and son had a talk in heaven one day. And the son said, okay, Father, send me. <laughs> and this is what uh, uh, John 3.16 is all about. It says, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. And whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting, everlasting life. life. Amen. Father sent the son. Amen. He used to sacrifice his son. He gave his only begotten son. And Jesus was sent for us to have our salvation, for us to have freedom. Amen. So praise God. He did the sending. And if Jesus can be sent, yes. so can we. Yes. We can be sent also. He's our greatest example. He's our greatest hero. Amen. Keep going. One more. There we go. He was available. Here's the question. Are you available? Uh -huh. Well, I'm busy today. Don't bother me. Uh -oh. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> we say that a lot. Mm -hmm. He's knocking, but we're not opening. Mm -hmm. It's time you open up. Amen. Mm -hmm. You know, here's the thing. He won't give up on you. That's it. We give up on ourselves. Mm -hmm. He won't quit on you. We quit on ourselves. Mm -hmm. So you're not you weren't made to be a quitter, a loser. You were made to be a winner. Amen. You were made to be a champion. You were made to be an overcomer. Amen. So we need to know these things. So we don't give up. We don't give in. Amen. Too many people killing themselves. Too many yeah, people hurting themselves. Yeah. Getting high and drugged on the wrong things. Yeah. We need to get high on the most high. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Man, I'm ready to get high with Jesus. 
Amen. 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 Woo, holla, that's the best side effects you can have. <laughs> for, for, for eternity, forever. <laughs> are you ready? Are, you are God's masterpiece. And that's in Ephesians 2 and, and 10. You know, don't go around calling yourselves a nobody. Mm -hmm. Don't let people say you're nobody. Yeah. Okay. According to what? According to their standards. Mm -hmm. I'm not living for them. I'm not a uh, say a man pleaser, people pleaser, a world pleaser. Be a God pleaser. Amen. Because He's pleased with you. He didn't make you to be junk. He made you to be yeah. a masterpiece. That's it. He made you to be an original, not a copy. When you start seeing yourself the way he made you, uh -huh. the way he created you, and start living for him and doing for him. Amen. So ooh, hallelujah. Glory, glory. Man, glory. we're not out of first base yet. <laughs> <laughs> Keep it <right. laughs> Okay, leave it right there. People, listen, people, including believers or Christians, whatever you want to call yourself, believer or Christian. People including believers are passionate about everything and anything except God. Oh. We only want to be religious on uh, on Sundays. And we come to play church. We we, we can't do this. Amen. Amen. Remember, cold, lukewarm, or hot. You got to be one of those three. But not, it says, you can be cold or hot, but don't be lukewarm. Yes, yes. I want to play the middle. I want to please the world. Mm -hmm. And I want to please God. No, mm -hmm. you gotta choose one. That's it. Amen. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's it. Yeah. So uh, we we're passionate, excited about everything except God. We gotta be or passionate about your 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 jobs, your careers. We're passionate about news, mm -hmm. politics, sports, partying, mm -hmm. movies, fashions, <laughs> foods, cooking, and all kind of worldly things. Yeah. If I didn't mention yours, I'll just throw in <laughs> worldly things. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> All right. But listen, we got to be we got to be excited and passionate about godly things. Yes. What God wants us to do, what Christ mm -hmm. came to die for, the passion, the Christ, Amen, came for, Amen. Woo. Hallelujah. Amen. So if you're not passionate for godly things, guess what? That's no bueno. Mm. Not good. Right. <laughs> <Nope>. <laughs> Listen to this. I'm sending, I'm calling, I'm anointing, and I'm equipping you to go and do what I want you to do. Amen. So he has a mission for you, but you're not going to fulfill this mission without him. Amen. We need him on a daily basis. And that's where this comes in. Amen. Or we have priorities. On a daily basis, from the time you wake up, thank you, Lord, for this beautiful day. He says, He's given us this beautiful day to what? To be glad and rejoice in it. Mm -hmm. Not to be sad and not to be all confused and not to be stressed minded, mm. but to be glad and rejoice. Yeah, Amen. Yeah, yeah. And when you, when you have the Word of God in you, you have freedom and you have the truth, and it's going to set you free. Amen. So praise God. Listen to this. Uh, it says, but seek yeah. first his kingdom and his righteousness, and all these things will be added to you. And 34 says, so do not worry about tomorrow. We're always talking about mañana. Mm. <laughs> mañana. No, don't worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will care for itself. Each day has enough trouble of its own. Right. Yeah. Okay, so you know, when you're thinking about mañana, <laughs> tomorrow, you're bringing in all those extra cares upon the cares of the day. Mm -hmm. You don't want to compound the problem. Amen. See, let manana stay where it's at. Mm -hmm. Amen. So we're just going to take care of today. Mm -hmm. One day at a time. You've heard yeah. that song, beautiful song. One yeah. day at a time. Amen. And that's what we need to do. One day at a time. Mm -hmm. Woo. Be available. Be ready. Be passionate. I can't say it enough. And I'm going to say it more times. Okay. Be, be okay. available. Be ready. And be passionate for him on a daily basis. Whenever he calls. And he's going to be calling. Well, you know, he never he never calls me. You know, well, and I noticed that you have your Bible sitting over there. And it's all dusty. And you never open it up. It's time that you open it up and read it. If you had 
time to read your Bible, that's when He talks with us. Mm -hmm. Amen. He talks with us. So get into it, you know, and read it. It's not going to read itself. Amen. We have to go and spend some time with Him. Yeah. Amen. Amen. He's there, but we're not there. We got to make ourselves available. Ooh, come on now. Right. Listen, I'm going to say it like this. I wrote it this way, so I'm going to say it like this. It's never boring. It's never lonely. It's never uninterested. Never unexcited. It's never dull. And most of all, it's never, never lukewarm. Oh, right. Amen. Praise God. So, child of God, what we need to do is we got to stay stirred up. Mm -hmm. We got to stay stirred up. Remind ourselves if you need to write it somewhere. Amen. We'll write it in your mind first. <laughs> write it in your heart. Stir it up for Jesus on a yes. daily basis. Okay? It's hungry for Jesus. Uh, thirsty for Jesus. Yes. You know? And nobody has to tell you to drink water. Because ah. when you're thirsty, you go drink yeah, some yeah. water. Otherwise, yeah. you'll dry. Mm -hmm. Amen? So, when you're, when you're hungry, nobody has to tell you to go eat. No, you know, no. I, I go eat. You know, I'm hungry. Yeah. I'm going to go eat myself. You know? But listen, we're a spirit being. Yeah. And we got to feed on... Yes, spiritual food and that's uh, the word of God right, right. amen read the word of God uh -huh. for spiritual food mm -hmm. that's what you feed your spirit mm -hmm. and our minds we renew our minds with the word of God uh -huh. if you don't if, if, if you don't get into the word and renew your mind mm -hmm. your mind is going to be worldly mm -hmm. your mind is going to take over yes, because is. the battlefield is the mind, is the mind. amen and that battlefield is going mm -hmm. 100 miles an hour that battlefield is going constantly. Right. Uh -huh. And if you're not renewing it to the Word, if you're not renewing it with the yeah. Word of God, guess what? You're just going to fall like the rest of the world. And you're going to yeah. be worldly as can be. Mm. So I need to do something about this. Mm. Yes. Feed your spirit the Word. Renew your mind with the Word. And this flesh, <laughs> this yeah. body, we got to crucify it. Oh, yeah. Because it wants to have its own thing. It just wants to be comfy, you know, <laughs> and sit All and right. just do ungodly things. Mm -hmm. So don't do that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so stir up. Listen, soaring high and not scratching. Mm. You know, like the prodigal son, you know, just taking off and being disobedient and say, hey, I want to do my thing. I don't want to be obedient. So he left. A lot of us have left, but we ain't never come back. It's time to come back. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Amen. And be obedient. Mm -hmm. Amen. Praise Set the God. right priorities daily. That's what we read a few minutes ago. Luke, uh, Matthew 6, 33 and 34. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we read 33, but listen to 40, uh, 34. Mm -hmm. Amen. There's some troubles in the next day of uh -huh. mañana, yeah. and we don't want them now. <coughs> no, listen. No, listen. I wrote it this way. It says, no more excuses. Huh. Never pick up a bad excuse. Why? Because it will take you further than you want to go. Mm -hmm. It will keep you longer than you want to stay. And it will cost you more than you can pay. That's a bad excuse. Yes. You know, if Satan is out there on a daily basis, don't give him a ride. <laughs> <laughs> because when you give him a ride... He'll want to drive. He'll want to drive. Yeah. He'll want to drive you forever. Mm -hmm. Amen. The best thing to do is don't pick him up. The bad thoughts. Amen. Mm -hmm. Those bad things, you know, mm -hmm. bad habits, bad whatever. Don't pick him up. The best thing to do is just renew your mind and feed your spirit. Mm -hmm. Amen. It'll yeah. take you further. It'll take you, uh, keep you longer, and it'll cost you more. Mm -hmm. Just because. I couldn't say no. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Amen. Woo! So again, don't copy because mm -hmm. don't be a copy because God made you an original. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. So here yeah. is your choice. You have a choice. Amen. So make the right choices. You're an original. Don't let nobody take you out of that. Don't let nobody tell you any different. Amen. You are God's original masterpiece. You ain't not a, you're not a copy of anything. But we want to copy somebody. You don't have to. Because God gifted you your way. 
Uh -huh. Best thing to do is have a relationship with him and he'll, he'll show you and tell you how and what to do. Amen. Man. Jesus made no excuses. I told you they had a meeting in heaven. Jesus and the Father. And the Father says, I'm going to send you. What do you think about this? I'm going to send you to heaven, to earth. And I'm going to sacrifice you so I can get my people back. Oh. Jesus could have said no. What a request. But he agreed, yes. He made himself available. He says, okay, Father. He says, send me. And that's what we do on a daily basis. He wants to send you. You just have to make yourself available and be ready. And be committed. And be uh, ready, ready to go. Amen. God is not looking for perfect people. Keep going. God's not looking for perfect people. He's looking for somebody to say, send me. And after me is your name. Or send me, meaning send Jose. Hey, that's that's good, San Jose. Send 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 me. San Jose. <laughs> send me people. He wants some send me people. He wants some available people. He wants some ready people. Are you one of these? Amen. Only you can answer this. But make yourself available. Don't exclude yourself. Include yourself. And you know what? Start participating. Yes. Amen. It's not it's not time to spectate. Because you know what? There's too many spectators. Oh yeah. You know, when you go to a ball game, you just go uh, or you go to a concert or you go to a big mega church, you know. You just go sit somewhere where you can get lost and nobody can see you. And I'm hiding. Oh, my. You may be hiding from them, but you ain't not hiding from Christ. That's it. He sees wherever you go. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and he goes wherever you go. He says, I'll never leave you nor forsake you. So wherever you go, yeah. he's with you. Yeah. Come on now. Right. <laughs> Woo! So be passionate for me. Lord said me, I'm available. I'm ready to serve. I'm ready to be used. Listen, readily obtainable, readily accessible. Mm -hmm. And here's the word readily. Readily means I'm eagerly, Father. I'm enthusiastically, Father. I am cheerfully, Father. And I am gladly and willingly. Accept hey, me. Yes. That's the right attitude to have. Yes. If you're going to have an attitude, have the right attitude. Uh -huh. Here I am, Lord, send me. Yes. Yeah. You know, I want brother so and so and sister so and so to say, wow, they're jealous because I'm always volunteering. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, San Jose. <laughs> He always wants to go. He volunteers for everything. No, you know what? I just have the, I just have the heart. I just have the love for Christ. Amen. And do what He's called me to do. Mm -hmm. And I'm just being obedient. All right. And more people are just holding back. <laughs> and see what's in this for me. You know what? You're blessed by the best. Yes. And you're blessed, too blessed, too blessed to be stressed. Yes. Amen. Stress. Amen. Stress will keep you out. Fear will keep you yes. out. You know, but when you get the word of God in you, you're going to step out of uh -huh. faith, child of God. Because fear is not going to hold you back anymore. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Not like before. It says the old is out, the new is in. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The fear is out, the faith is in. And I'm going to step out in faith. Amen. So step out in faith, child of God. <laughs> Passionately. I was passionately fired up. Mm -hmm. Man, you ever heard that song? That that, that word? We, well, I played uh, many, 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 many sports, and you know, you always want to be fired up. You know, you don't want, and even in the military, you know, stay mm -hmm. fired up. Yeah. yeah. You know, fired up for whatever you're doing. Fired up to yeah. be a team teammate if you have others playing with you. Man, me and me and my team, we're fired up. We're going to win together. We're, if we lose, we lose together. Mm -hmm. But we're fired up. Mm -hmm. So passionately, meaning fired up about serving. Fired up about being obedient to him. Amen. Man, Lord, thank you, Lord, for, for picking me. Thank you for sending me. Mm -hmm. I'm excited. I'm fired up. Excited, motivated, enthused for him. Staying stirred up. Staying hungry. Staying thirsty. Amen. And you got to do all these things. So these things, you know what? Remember, the, the battlefield is the mind. It is the mind. And you can think good and you can think bad. Mm -hmm. Because it's going to come and say, wait a minute. Mm -hmm. I, 
I've got so many things to do. I ain't got time for this. Send somebody else. Yeah. And guess what? Every time he asks you, there's always going to be an excuse. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. You know? Uh, uh, and you know, he's heard more excuses than anybody else. Oh, boy. I bet he has. He knows them all. <laughs> So yours is not a new one. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Send me, Lord. Again, you can. You need to write this down somewhere. Send me, Lord. I'm available. I'm ready. I'm passionate. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Right. Amen. You know that's going to make somebody mad. But it's going to make it's going to make the devil mad and God Amen. glad. Yes. But that's okay. I'd rather make the devil mad and make God glad. Uh -huh. Yeah. But you know, if there's uh, jealous people around, it's going to make them mad too. Oh, yeah. Because oh, yeah. you're always going. Mm -hmm. You're always going. You know, when you give up yourself. You know what? I have, I have a nugget I was going to share with you, so I'll share it with you right now. Kindness. Mm -hmm. He says, kindness does not cost a thing, yet it's the richest gift you can give. Just by being kind. But some of, some of Amen. Ain't it awesome? Won't, right. won't cost you anything. Yes. But it's the richest thing you can give mm -hmm. by being kind. You know, yeah. the world right now is there is so many rude people out there. Yeah, oh gosh. So many impatient people out there. Oh my goodness. You can tell right away. Oh, yeah. And if you have not spent time with yeah. your God or Christ, <laughs> You're going to find out right away. And they're going to pull you right into their storm. They're going to pull you right into their problem. If you allow yourself. Don't allow yourself. Spend time with him. Make, get yourself ready before I go facing those giants. Right. Amen. Mm, that's what David did. Man, all this army is afraid of a giant. And David said, what is wrong with you? He says, I'll go, I'll fight him. Mm -hmm. So the king says, here, use my armor. And Saul is a, a big man. That that, 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 that that armor was too big for David. Yes. Oh, gosh. David said, no. He says, I'll use what God has given me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He said, little shepherd boy, all I got is a sling. Little pouch, mm -hmm. you know, where he keeps all his rocks. <laughs> he says, I'll just wear what, what God gave me. You just Amen. wear what God gave you. Yeah. You just have what God gave you. Use uh -huh. what God gave you. Right. And you know what? When you have the word in you, that word is enough. That word is going to come out. And you yeah. need to speak it. It's in you. You get it in you so you can speak it out. It's not going to do you any good holding it inside. Right. But Amen. when you speak the word, it's, it's going gonna, it's gonna to bring it to pass. It's going to bring freedom. Yeah. Amen. So David volunteered. Send me. He said, okay, you go, but here, drop me. put my uniform on first. Uh -huh. I'll put my armor on, no? Yeah. He says, I'll go. God I'll has go. given me. He says, when the bear came, when the lion came, God is with me, and God is backing me. Yeah. Know yeah. who your God is. He knew his God. Yeah. You need to know who your God is. Mm -hmm. You need to know who's backing you. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. And I'm not afraid. He's not giving me a spirit of fear, but a power of love and of a sound mind. Amen. 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 Yeah. Praise God. I said, okay, send me. And guess what? The giant saw David, little Noah coming. <laughs> and that's, that's what the, the giant did. He, he laughed. Uh, he says, who is this? I mean, I'm sure you got some bitter men out there. And all you're saying is a boy to do a man's job. But guess what? You, with God, with you. God with you is yes. enough. Yes. God with you is sufficient. Yeah. Right. Amen. Yeah. Well, we're not going to finish this. <laughs> <laughs> so what's your passion? Uh -huh. With God, I can do all things. Oh. All things through yeah. Christ who strengthens me. Mm -hmm. God gave his best. Jesus gave his best. And guess what? We must do our best. What is your best? Here's your best. Lord, send me. Mm -hmm. Amen. That's my best. Mm -hmm. Lord, send me. I'm ready. I'm available. Send me. Mm -hmm. I'm ready. I'm excited. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm stirred up. <laughs> Lord, send me. Because I'm excited to be available. Amen. I'm excited to be ready. I'm excited. I'm passionate for you. Excited, motivated, stirred up for you. Again, excited. Jesus loves me. 
I'm excited because Jesus loves me unconditionally. Mm -hmm. And he thinks highly of me. Amen. Yes. Amen. Anybody try to feed you any other thing, mm -hmm. false things about God. Mm -hmm. I say, that don't match what the Word of God says. Mm -hmm. That is not scriptural. Mm -hmm. I don't find that in my Bible. Mm -hmm. So don't receive Amen. the bad report. Don't receive the Amen. negative report. Only receive what the Word of God says. Amen. So I'm not receiving that. I'm going to stick it on the shelf. Or I'm just going to press delete. That's not for me. Mm -hmm. Jesus, our greatest example, so passionate to fulfill his mission. Jesus says, I'll go. Mm -hmm. Father says, I want to sacrifice you. But you're going to the world. I'm going to sacrifice you in, in this earth. Oh, my. And he was excited to fulfill his mission. Every one of you has a mission. You're not here just to sit on your... Mm -hmm. Como se llama? Right. <laughs> you're not here just to be lazy. You say, well, I'm not here just to kill time. No. <laughs> you're here because God put you here. Mm -hmm. And because you have a mission. Yeah. So find out what your mission is mm -hmm. and start doing it. All you need to do is be available. Yes. Amen. And be ready. Mm -hmm. And be uh, and to serve. Yes. Amen. Mm -hmm. The passion of the Christ. God sacrificed His Son, mm -hmm. and Jesus gave His all. Gave it up. Gave it all. How did He give it all? He paid a price He didn't know. Mm -hmm. And now I owe a price I cannot pay. Mm -hmm. Amen. Passion believers walk it, talk it, and show it passionately. Mm -hmm. You need to write that down. Mm. You walk it, you talk it, and you show it. Amen. Amen. They knew them by the word, the words, their, their actions, and their words, their commitment. That's how you do it. Walk it, talk it, show it passionately. Stepping out in faith. I'm going to step out in faith on a daily basis. Or wherever you are, still, you know, great was he that sent me to he was just in the world. I'm not afraid of the enemy. He's a defeated foe. It's time you remind yourself. Mm -hmm. He's a defeated foe. Why do you let a defeated foe defeat you? Mm -hmm. Amen. This is wrong. He don't put you. He don't have. Don't don't let him have you on the run anymore. You uh -huh. put him on the run. That's it. The Bible says, submit yourself to God. Resist him. Take authority, and he will run from you. He will flee from you. Amen. That's it. Walk to walk and talk to talk. Watch your words and your actions. Remember Proverbs 18, 21. Mm -hmm. says, death and life are in the word of the uh, yeah. power of the tongue. Yeah. The tongue has power. But it's in the power. The, the tongue has words. It speaks words. Yes, it does. Death and life are in the words you speak. Yes. So be careful and put a guard. And don't say things that are negative. Don't say things that are deadly. You know, because yeah. words are seeds. Yes, they are. Are they deadly seeds or are they lively seeds? Mm -hmm. Amen. You make you make the choice. Yeah. I want to sow lively seeds. Uh -huh. Faith filled words. Amen. 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 Man. Lord. Speak faith filled words. Passionate believers get passionate for him. Ooh. We've said that so many times. Uh huh. Amen. We used to be passionate for the world. Now it's time to get uh -huh. passionate for him. We changed God. We took ourselves off the throne and put him on the throne of our lives. Amen. Amen. So he's on the throne. Amen. He is King of Kings and, and Lord, Lord of Lords. Lord. Amen. Yeah. The choice is yours. Get passionate about God. Serve him and his people passionately. Amen. Mm -hmm. Keep going. Okay. Uh, Jeremiah 29 11 says, I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Yeah. Plans to give you a hope and a future. He gave you good plans. Mm -hmm. I need to go and, and research and find out what those plans are. And you well, need to spend time with him mm -hmm. and he'll tell you. Yes. Amen. So don't be just like the world mm -hmm. and say, I don't know. Go know your God mm -hmm. and you'll know what your plans are. Yes. Uh -huh. Amen. The prodigal son finally yes. came back home and says, here I am, Father. Yeah. <laughs> you know, he tried to put himself down. The Father mm -hmm. immediately raised him and said, yeah. mm -hmm. you know, hey, put a robe on him. Put a finger, uh, a, a ring on his finger, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, he, he, he reinstated him. Yes, he did. Amen. And he said, we're going to have a celebration. And the other son 
He was jealous. He was like, wait a minute, wait a minute. I didn't go anywhere. What about me? He said, you can have all of this. You've got all of this. Amen. Still, he came back. I said, okay, here I am, Father, I'm back. What's, what plans do you have for me? We need to do that, Lord. you got plans for me. I want to fulfill those plans for you. Amen. Woo, come on now. Amen. Keep going. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. There you go. I like this one. Yeah. Commit thy works unto the Lord, and thy thoughts shall be established. Proverbs 16, 3. King James. Mm -hmm. Amen. He knows. Commit your works to him. Yeah. This is one of my favorites. Keep going. Okay. We're not uh, we're not uh, going to finish all this. But we're talking about fashion. We're talking about passion, passionate people. A story in the Bible in Mark uh, chapter 2, verse 1 through 5. And I'm going to read it to you from the New Living Translation. Jesus heals a paralyzed man. You know, sometimes when Jesus did some good things, people were jealous. They were. You know, they didn't want him to do that. Yeah. You know, religious people, <laughs> religious That's people the yeah. were the worst ones. Yeah. And they hated when Jesus did mm -hmm. this, you know. But when Jesus came to Capernaum mm -hmm. several days later, the news spread quickly mm -hmm. that he was back home. Yeah. Soon the house where he was staying was so packed with visitors, <laughs> there was no room even uh -huh. outside the door was full. Mm -hmm. Amen. While he was preaching God's word to them for passionate men were carrying this paralyzed man on a mat. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. They brought him to Jesus because because of the crowd so they dug a hole. Listen, they was bringing him to Jesus the, <laughs> it was so crowded they couldn't get in. Right. They didn't want to bring it to brother so and so or holy so and so. <laughs> they didn't want nobody else touching him. Jesus. They brought him to Jesus. And it was packed. Amen. And they went up on the roof. I don't know how they took this paralyzed man up on the roof, but they got him on the, they on the roof. They got him up there. And they went and dug a hole mm -hmm. on the roof. And they lowered him right in front of Jesus. Mm -hmm. That's real good. Yeah. I kind of feel for the man of the house, you know. <laughs> what are you doing tearing my house? But they lowered him right in front of Jesus. Yeah. They dug a hole through the roof above yeah. his head. Mm -hmm. and then they lowered the man on the mat right down in front of Jesus. Mm. And Jesus could have said, wait a minute. I'm having a great meeting. What are you doing disturbing me? You know, he could have had a bad attitude about it. Uh -huh. But he didn't. Remember, he's our greatest example. <laughs> Instead of seeing the worst, remember, prepare yourselves mm -hmm. on a daily basis before you go out so you can see people with love and compassion. Yeah. So you can see people through his eyes and not your eyes. Amen. This is what he saw. He didn't see the roof. He didn't see uh, the negative. He saw their faith. Yeah. That's what we need to do. Mm -hmm. We need to see the good. Mm -hmm. You know, the same Jesus that died for you died for them ugly people yeah. and rude people. <laughs> Amen. Them mm -hmm. people out there, he died for them too. Yeah. They yeah. just haven't received him as Lord right, and Savior. Right, right. And you're going to be the greatest example. Mm -hmm. You're going to be their little Jesus. Mm -hmm. <laughs> They're going to see the love and compassion of Christ mm -hmm. coming through you. Yes. He saw their faith. Jesus said to the paralyzed man, My child, your sins are forgiven. You know what that does to religious people? Mm. Man, they oh, just yeah. make them go through the roof. <laughs> they don't, they, who do you think you are to forgive? He says, Your sins are forgiven. Only God can do that. Yeah. He says, My child, you, your sins are forgiven. Then Jesus turned to the paralyzed man and said, Stand up. Mm -hmm. Right. Now listen, if this was you, would you have stood up? Uh, excuse me, but uh, I'm paralyzed. Can't you see I'm paralyzed? He didn't say that. He says, stand up. Yes. Amen. He's told you some things before and you're still making excuses. Remember, let go of the excuses. 
He says, stand up. If you can, if you want to. Mm -mm. Pick up your mat and go home. Yeah. <laughs> and the man, the man could have said, I'm crippled, I'm paralyzed, I can't do this. I need somebody to help me. Mm. No. And the man jumped up, grabbed the mat, and walked out mm -hmm. through the stunned onlookers. Mm -hmm. They were stunned. They never seen anything like this. <laughs> And he can do these things through you. Mm -hmm. Amen. They were shocked. But this man was obedient to what Jesus said. Mm -hmm. And we need to do the same thing. He's been telling you some things mm -hmm. and you've been neglecting. Mm -hmm. It's time that you obey. Mm -hmm. Amen. Because this man, a paralyzed man, mm -hmm. stood up, grabbed his mat, jumped up, grabbed the mat, and he walked out. Mm -hmm. Yes. And all the people were shocked, mm -hmm. stunned mm -hmm. what they saw. Yes. Every part of him functioning normal. Mm -hmm. You know when your body's not feeling well? I speak to it myself. I just say, you, everything that's malfunctioning, I command you that by Jesus Christ you are healed and you function the way he created you to function. It's okay. Yeah. What am I doing? I'm speaking the word of God myself. And I'm telling my body to be healed according to what the word God says. Yes. Amen. Sometimes we have to do these things. Mm -hmm. Every part of him was functioning normal. Jesus spoke. You're speaking the word of God. Mm -hmm. So your body has to be obedient. Mm -hmm. And they were all amazed and yes. praised God passionately. Yes. Uh -huh. God. We've never seen anything like this before. <laughs> <Exactly>. <laughs> That's okay. And God's going to use you to do mm -hmm. great things for yes. him. Amen. Yeah. Just don't be surprised. Yeah. All you're doing is you're stepping out in faith. Yes. Amen. Yes. And doing His works. Yes. Amen. Yes. So yes. praise God. We're going to stop right there. Right. And we'll continue next week on right. Send Me, Lord. Yes. Amen. Praise yes. God. Woo. Hallelujah. Amen. Those of you that are watching, those of you that are listening, you know, it's time. God wants to send you. Send Me, Lord. Yes. He wants to send you. You've been running. He can't send you if you're running. You got to turn, make a turn around, doing a bow face, and go the other way with him. Mm -hmm. you know, all you have to do is say, "Lord, I, I, I've sinned against you. I repent. Come into my life. Be my Lord and Savior." And He will. But you have to be obedient. It's time you start serving Him, start Amen. following Him, yeah. and start doing for Him. He's got a great plan for you. So receive that what God has for you. Yeah. It's yeah. It, don't worry about big or small. Whatever I'm doing, if I do it under Him, He's pleased, yeah. and that's all we need to know. Amen. So praise God. Thank you, Lord. If you have sickness in your body, as I said a few minutes ago, just put your hand, lay your hands on yourself, and say, your "Body be healed in the name yeah. of Jesus." Whatever is hurting you, yeah. inside or out, you know. God created you. She says, "By Jesus stripes I'm healed." He went to the cross and He put stripes on His back. For us to be healed. Yes. So body line up with the word of God. Yes, yes. And be healed and function. Yes. The way God created you to function. Mm -hmm. Every part of you. Every muscle. Every tissue. Every organ. Every mm -hmm. whatever. Eyes. Ears. Mouth. It doesn't matter. Yes. Still healed. Thank by you. Jesus stripes in Jesus name. Amen. So be healed. Get your, get your healing. Praise God. Get your healing. Thank you Lord. Uh, time to give. If you're watching. Just go to our website. And uh, NBC Big Ben dot, M NBC Big ben dot com. Hit that donate button. If uh, you're mailing it, NBC PO Box 252, Marfa, Texas 79843. And uh, now you can do Cash App at New Beginnings Church of the Big Ben. Amen. So God loves you and we love you. Have a blessed day. Amen. Amen. Praise God.